Hey everybody, it's Minister Lou. Happy Wednesday to you. Hope it's going good. Currently right now, we are reading out of the Apocrypha of the Bible. We are in the book of Tobit. We are on chapter 4. Let's jump into this and see what we can learn. It's, so far, it's an interesting read to say the least. In that day, Tobit remembered the money which he had committed to Gabel, Gabel in rages of Medea and said within himself, I have wished for death. Wherefore do I not call for my son Tobias that I might signify to him of the money before I die? And when he had called him, he said, My son, when I am dead, bury me and despise not thy mother, but honor her all the days of thy life. And do that which shall please her, and grieve her not. Remember, my son, that she saw many dangers for thee when thou wast in her womb, and when she is dead, bury her by me in one grave. My son, be mindful of the Lord our God all thy days, and let not thy will be set to sin or to transgress his commandments. Do uprightly all thy life long, and follow not the ways of unrighteousness. For if thou deal truly, thy doings shall prosper prosperously, excuse me, succeed to thee and to all them that live justly. Give alms of thy substance, and when thou givest alms, let not thine eye be envious, neither turn thy face from any poor, and the face of God shall not be turned away from thee. If thou hast abundance, give alms accordingly. If thou hast a little, be not afraid to give accordingly to that little. For thou layest up a good treasure for thyself against the days of necessity. Because that alms do deliver from death, and suffering suffereth not to come into darkness. For alms is a good gift unto all that give it in the sight of the Most High. Yeah. I agree with that. Fully. That's a truthful lesson. Give to the poor. Help them out. Even if you don't have a lot and you give them just a little bit, that little bit might actually help them. You never know what five, six bucks could do for a person that's hungry in the streets. Possibly get them a burger or some fries, maybe a drink. Anything. Anything, man. I mean, I know that we live in an expensive world now. But you are able to still get some things rather cheaply. As long as you ain't going for name brands. You know what I mean? Or if they go to fast food and you... It's not the most healthiest, but it's something to keep them moving. It is substance. It does help. And you never know when you're going to entertain an angel in disguise. Posing as a human. Beware of all whoredom, my son. And chiefly take a wife of, thy seed, of the seed of thy fathers. And take not a strange woman to wife. Which is not of thy father's tribe. For we are the children of the prophets. Noah, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Remember, my son, that our fathers from the beginning, even that they are, even that they all married wives of their own kindred, and were blessed in their children, and their seed shall inherit the land. Now therefore, my son, love thy brethren, and despise not in thy heart thy brethren, the sons and daughters of thy people, and not taking a wife of them, for in pride is destruction. And much trouble and in lewdness is decay and great want, for lewdness is the mother of famine. Let not the wages of any man which hath wrought for thee tarry with thee, but give him it out of hand. For if thou serve God, he will also repay thee. 
be circumspect, my son, in all things thou doest, and be wise in all thy conversation. Do that to no man which thou hatest. Drink not wine to make thee drunken, neither let drunkenness go with thee in thy journey. Yeah, I agree with that. Don't drink. It's not fun. It's not a good time. You have the illusion that it is, but man, it is. It's not. Lowers the intelligence, opens you up the spirits to do evil things to other people quite easily, to not care. Give of thy bread to the hungry, <clears throat> and of thy garments to them that are naked. And according to thine abundance, give alms. And let not thine eyes be envious when thou givest alms. Pour out thy bread on the burial of the just, but give nothing to the wicked. Ask counsel of all that are wise, and despise not any counsel that is profitable. Bless the Lord God, thy God always, and desire of him that thy ways may be directed, and that all thy paths and counsels may prosper. For every nation hath not counsel, but the Lord himself giveth all good things, and he humbleth whom he will, as he will. Now therefore, my son, remember my commandments, neither let them be put out of thy mind. And now I signify this to thee, that I committed ten talents of ten talents to Gabal, the son of Gabris, at Rages in Medea. And fear not, my son, that we are made poor, for thou hast much wealth, if thou fear God, and depart from all sin. Jesus said something very similar to that. And do that which is pleasing in his sight. You will be rich in heaven for those things. Yes, you will. You are rich in spirit. That just echoes some of the things that <coughs> Jesus said to me. That's what it does to me. That's wild. That is wild. You know, first you start reading these removed books and you're like, huh. You know, they're good. I, I see where they're going. And then it's like, I didn't see this coming right here. I didn't see none of this at all. Like, Jesus taught something extremely similar. Just wow. Just wow. I'm really surprised. I thank you all for taking the time to watch this video. To hear this along with me for the first time. It's mind blowing to say the least. I do enjoy sharing it. I tell you that. The kingdom of heaven is at hand everybody. Our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, is coming back. Whew. Yes, He is. He is going to come back. And He will not be a lamb when He comes back, but a lion. A lion of the tribe of Judah. And His wrath and judgment will be poured out into the world who is left behind and not called up to Him. Whew. The time has come to repent of our sins, everybody. To come to accept our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, as Lord and Savior. To understand what he did on that cross for us. And how he became the perfect sacrifice for our sins. And how he rose three days later, conquering sin, death, and hell. It's time to know who our Heavenly Father is. And to know what he's done for us from the beginning of the time. And to understand that he loves us so much that he gave us his Son. That he knew was going to be hated. That he knew was going to be beaten, whipped, 
his hair pulled off of his face and his head, murdered by the very people he came to save. I love you guys. Jesus loves you guys. And our Heavenly Father loves you guys. Shalom.